Hi, my name is Pierre Ouellet. I'm a nurse and orthopedic technician at the Shriners Hospital for Children Canada. Today we will demonstrate the use of the SAM splint in order to immobilize an arm fracture. Kenza will be our model for this video. What we will need from our toolkit today is the SAM splint, the three inches wide elastic bandage, and the immobilization mesh. We will imagine that Kenza has a fractured arm here. We will reuse our SAM splint to demonstrate its use. Pour démontrer euh, l'immobilisation de ça. Donc, euh, ici à l'arrière, on va plier. So here towards the back, we will fold and round the brace so it forms an arm-like shape. Same thing towards the forearm. We must not try to have the exact same shape like we would with a fiberglass brace. We eyeball it. So at this point, we could fold it and give it the same shape as the other section. Donc. Euh, Rendu ici, on peut la plier, puis lui donner la même forme que l'autre. Voilà. Donc, here we go. So now we can insert it. You position your arm slowly. Perfect. And we will use an elastic bandage. Un bandage élastique. You must not turn it inwards. Perfect. So at the same time, as you could see, I could mold it directly on the arm. Is it comfortable? Do you feel it stiffer than the other cast you previously had? Kenza? Yes, it is stiffer. So comfort-wise, obviously a real plaster with cotton wool or a fiberglass brace would be more comfortable than this one. Perfect. We will need the mesh. Une fois que ça s'est installé. Once that's installed, we could use the mesh to hold it all together. You could pull back your arm. 90 degrees angle, the arm is neutral. The fingers are exposed. Kenza, are you able to move them? Perfect. Can you hold your arm while I put on the mesh? So we take our mesh. I have to don it on your right arm like so. Perfect. Excellent. Voilà. Excellent. Here we go. And from here, it should hold in place. Does it cut here underneath? No. So if it were to cut, we could pull down the part that bothers the patient. It gives a better immobilization. Do you feel well immobilized with this? Are you able to move your fingers? If I touch your fingers, do you feel them? The fingers are warm, so there is no compression on the veins or arteries. The fingers aren't swollen and neither blue nor white, so it should stay that way while we transport the patient to the hospital.